So sir, how are you feeling coming to the 49th celebration event of Babies Meet? How are you feeling sir? I feel privileged, I feel proud, I feel honoured when you see uh, happiness, joy of parenthood being celebrated. Yeah. When you see that in, a, in your profession and your business, if you can uh, help one parent to achieve the dream of parenthood, that itself makes me feel very happy. Yeah. Today there were 100, so very happy to be here. Sir, uh, how are you feeling after seeing so many happy faces around you and there are many happy faces and they are being like overwhelmed with the tears in their eyes and when they came near you, you could have sensed that presence that after so long they have been given birth to many children. So how are you feeling after seeing many happy faces around in the 49? So I have been in this uh, IVF uh, business for 31 years now. And there are many people who ask me that why never you being management professional, I could have changed the industry. I said, I feel blessed when uh, uh, being in uh, infertility service where you are uh, contributing or impacting uh, life of people. So I always feel uh, that in IVF business, you make Mother Earth a little bit, little bit more happy every day. So I feel um, elated, happy and very joyful. So finally, there are many people in India still think that uh, going for the IVF process is not that acceptable because people do judge them on that bias. So what would you say to the generation today saying this video, sir? So I would want to request, urge only one thing. Infertility is a WHO classified medical disease like any other disease. Whether it is diabetes, hypertension, any, any cardiac disease, whatever uh, you, you take it and accept it. Like I sometimes feel, uh, uh, why is infertility isolated? Yeah. It should not be. So like any other disease, infertility, I would request and urge to spread this word that it should be accepted as a medical disease and should be normalized. And uh, the myth or the taboo associated with infertility has to go. It's not personal shortcoming of a woman yes. or not. It's, a, it's not a personal shortcoming of a man. It's a WHO classified disease, so you need to accept it as a disease, take treatment at right place, at right time and at right, and right age. Because people waste a lot of time being infertile on not accepting it and taking treatment at right place, which actually makes their journey of parenthood even more difficult. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.